All right, I got my bucket, my water, my phone, and we are gonna go chop some things down. Everything needs a little haircut, so come along with me. I'm gonna get to it right away because it's hot, and I wanna get out here for about an hour, come back in, have a drink, we're good. All right, we're gonna look for things to prune and pick. So I'm gonna do some things by hand. These are pretty easy. Pansies, these are spent, done. That's beautiful, so that's done. Okay, this looks good. Everything looks good. I'm gonna leave these little buds on these. These are tulips that have already been spent, but they, I don't know, they're kind of cute. So I'm gonna leave those. <laughs> it's so fun. Look at all the strawberries. And I have, good, Mr. Ladybug. I don't know if you can see it. Mr. Ladybug, take care of things. Let's see if I can see this. Okay, he's getting red. Some more red, more red strawberries. Two more red right here. So everything here looks good. The roses look good. They're out ready to bust with color, but not yet. Kind of just looking over things. Oh, wow, look at this. Look. Aren't they ruffly? These are the flamenco roses. Aren't they pretty? Okay, they're just all over the place, full of it. Look. Okay, after I was manhandling everything, this one fell off, but I'm gonna put this in a vase right away. Look at how beautiful it is. And um, since I broke it off, I can smell it. Hmm. It has a nice lemony smell, really pretty. I don't know the name of it because uh, this was one that was here and I don't really recognize it. It's not President Lincoln, I've seen that one. That's more like a tea rose. Um, like I said, the buds are unusual here. See that? So they, they come out sort of tea rose and then they kind of do a, a flamenco carnation um, just fluffy. So if anybody recognizes it and you have one of these, very bright, brilliant red, especially in the sun. They're really, really bold. All right, I'm gonna have to come back with some loppers. This does not look good. I don't know what's wrong with it. I wanna make sure it has enough water, but these all need to be cut off. And it's growing down low. It's not growing that sucker back that I, I wanted up for a, th a third leg instead of just two legs. See that? I wanted it to have three legs, but that doesn't look developed. And I don't know, this one doesn't look very developed either, the center one, but I'm just gonna cut back all of this. I'm gonna give it some fertilizer and cut it back and let's see how it does. So first thing you want to do is, let's check the water. Nope, it's moist in there. It's very moist. Well, that's, water's not the issue. Oh, and then I pick off any of these. Do you see these? Pick off, they're really easy to pick up them. So I don't want any lower branches. I want this to grow like a regular tree. Over here, it's starting to look crazy full. Look how this is developed. This is my pom-pom red bud, but he has a nice canopy all over, but he has a few dead spots. So I'll cut that off. And I think there's one here. Let's cut this off. And this tree that was a bush that I planted up here, it might be getting in the way. So I'm probably gonna cut this branch back because it's now in the, in the way of my red bud developing. So I'm kind of gonna diminish this, diminish this, and develop this. That's what I want. This was here, not quite as nice. Yeah. Now he looks good. 
there's not anything else to do on that one. Okay, but I am going to cut this one back. Yeah, it's too big. So I'm going to have to come back with loppers for that. Okay, so let's just continue because I'm just doing a small chopping. And you can see this has grown a lot. This is my Green Mountain Boxwood and I'm needing to clip it back. It grew about four inches. that's kind of a sloppy job but I got it down and maybe I'll come in with some scissors a later later on so I can get a real good job so it takes some time when you're doing boxwoods you know. so you just kind of have to keep clipping until it looks rounded or squared or whatever you want But I've gone around my whole property. I'm now in the English garden, and you can see what I really need to address. Woo! All the beautiful irises that gave me so much show. They now have like that same paper. They have that paper that needs to be taken off. Now there's two methods to do this. And I'll show you because this side also needs to be taken down. Look at all those beautiful irises and all of them are done. Here's how I do my irises. Now you can see, here's the, here's the paper part and you could just snip it off there. So here's the paper part up here and you could just snip it just right below that. Boom, now it's prettier. But I don't even like any of this so I go all the way down to the, as low as you can and take off the whole thing. That's all. You don't want to take off any of this other stuff because that's going to be development for next year. But he won't grow again, this bud. So we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to go all the way down. Boom. Done. That's what I'm going to do to all of them. So I'm going to cut this one back also. He's grown about four inches in one season. I'm going to take him right back to the canopy. Like that. Boom. Like that. And you can see this canopy is done. So I'll just take this perennial. and just whack it all the way back. That's the new Boom Chocolata. All right, when I come back in here, I will gather up all my debris that I cut up, but now everything is where I want it for the summer. There's one other thing I want to address. Another dead spot for the crepe myrtle. So now he's looking good. There's nothing dead on him. So now I'm gonna let him grow. All right, warning guys. I just went inside just for a little bit of a break, but stay cool, bring your water. Don't stay out for a long time. It's 90 degrees today and very hot. Try to go in the morning and the evening if you can. So just want to show you some of the stuff real quick because I've already been in and cooled myself but I've cut this back. This is my crepe burtle and he's looking good. I just cut the top off which was dead. All right in this garden I've cut back all the irises. That's all that needed to be done. As each perennial does its thing cut it back. 
get a hold of it. Do one bed at a time each day. Okay, for this bed, as you remember, I just took that back the saxifraza, and you can see it's now just a little teeny um, plot there. You can shave perennials back pretty good, and you can see just barely. That's the new plant, the boom chocolata. <laughs> I hope he gets some size on him. I have had geraniums before, and if you can see, he should get some size on him. I hope it's in the right place. He's on the east side, has some protection, and he gets lots of water. So I hope he likes it, but he's so dark. It's fun to get plants that your hubs likes or your uh, people in your family, your kids, and they boom chocolata. They, he just likes saying it, so. And over here, we got rid of all the toppers and the ugly parts of the irises. These are gonna, next year, this and the one in the back that you can't barely see because it's in the shade, that one and this one, they all have to be divided. Oh, I'll have irises for everybody. All right, I took down both boxwoods and they're looking <laughs> a little bit funky, but doesn't matter. All right, these are blooming and I'm gonna see how the hookara, how I like that. So, okay, I cut him up and I cut the limbs up above him right there on this guy so he has plenty of sun to grow. So I want him to be the star here and as he becomes a star, less and less of this will be the star. All right, the crepe myrtle is taken care of. I took it all down and it's looking good and it's gonna have a chance to grow without dead things. Take dead things out of trees, that'll help it. Has plenty of water, I felt the water, maybe it's got too much water, I don't know. Anyways, so it's good looking side. We put new mulch this year. I hope you get out and chop a few things just for an hour and then be done. So, <laughs> keep moving, keep gardening, stay cool, bring your water bottle, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>